All right, guys, this may sound as a good news and also as a relief for the people of River State as River State unveiled new commissioner of police. The former commissioner of police in River State, CP Tunji, is out right now and is unveiling the new commissioner of police in River State, Mustafa Bala. And Mustafa Bala will take the marathon of leadership in River State and we are going to expect some synergy between him and the current governor of River State. So guys, let us watch this video. Uh, please drop your comment. What do you think about this? And don't forget to subscribe here. God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for taking your time to come your new commissioner of police kindly exchange all the cooperation you gave to me to him the almighty god continue to be your guide yeah, welcome man. we wish you all the successes to the south thank you very much this is my maiden dress briefing by my humble self cp mustafa mohammed bala on assumption of duty as the 46th Commissioner of Police, River State Police Command. Today, 8th of October, 2024. At the Command Headquarters, Moscow Road, Port Harcourt. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, good morning all. Good morning, sir. On behalf of the Inspector General of Police, my humble self, and the managing team who are seated here, officers and men of the River State Police Command, I heartily welcome you to the press briefing, which is my first official engagement as Commissioner of Police, River State Police Command, today, 8th of October 2024. I must commend the members of the press for the vital role you people play in the society. You are tireless efforts in providing accurate, timely, and balanced report help to shape public opinion and guide the actions of both the public and law enforcement agents. I have received glowing reviews of your impressive work in covering our activities from my predecessor, CPDC, Ratinji Leroy. As, as we embark on this journey together with you people, I urge you to continue to work with us, to hold us firmly, and to share with us the concerns and expectations of the public. That is what we call engagement. So we release a new concrete engagement and collaboration with you. We are committed to transparency and welcome constructive criticisms. Don't be biased in your criticism. You should be very objective. A society thrives when there is trust between its institution and its people. And the press is key to building and maintaining that trust. Let me at this point express how deeply honored I am today to stand before you as an officially assumed duty as the Commissioner of Police River State. I thank the Inspector General of Police, Ajibika Adebeto Kumpiaji, MPM, and the Police Service Commission for the confidence reposed in me to lead this critical command. Critical in the that rivers is very important in nation building. It is with this sense of duty and responsibility that I take on this new role, knowing the unique challenges and nature of River State and the security concerns of its people. As I assume duty, I wish to make it abundantly clear that my priority, this is my cardinal principles, my priority is to ensure the safety and security 
uh, and well-being of all residents of, and visitors of the river state as a state. To address the security challenges and ensure that law-abiding citizens go about their lawful business. I am aware that River State, being one of the nation's economic hubs, faces unique security challenges from incidents of kidnapping, cultism, armed robbery, and oil bunkering to communal clashes and other violent crimes. And more, more recently, uh, issues emanating, issues emanating from political interest the complexities of maintaining law and order here require a proactive and strategic approach. Proactive means to nab any plan in the boot through intelligent-led policy. So we'll be more proactive in our dealings with you as press. Any information you receive, try to confirm from us. And if we have something for you, we'll draw your attention immediately. My priority tax is to swiftly restore calm in the respective local government areas where pockets of these issues of violence, violent attack have been presently, at, at present, where how it happened. And uh, of course, we have already in place uh, measures. We have already in place measures through convoy patrol and uh, confident building patrol to assure, uh, assure the public of their safety. Since yesterday, we have been embarking on confident building patrol into the nook and crannies of the state to restore normalcy. And my commitment is to work collaboratively with the state and non-state actors, as well as all critical stakeholders to address all the challenges I have enumerated head on. Some of the key priorities we are going to adopt with my management team have an assumption of duty. I have reviewed the current security situation in the state from the briefing by my predecessors by predecessor. And I would like to outline my vision and strategies for ensuring the safety and security of our communities and its people. Strengthening intelligence gathering, that is community-based. Intelligence is the mainstay of effective policing. We will, we will strengthen our intelligence units and work closely with local communities, traditional institutions, and other supportive sister security agencies to gather actionable intelligence. They will enable us to prevent crimes before they occur and swiftly respond to any distress. Community policy and public enlightenment. Policy is most effective when the police have the trust and cooperation of the people they serve. I will emphasize on, community, uh, I will emphasize on building stronger ties between the police and the various communities who are serving across the state will work to regain public trust by ensuring our officers are approachable, professional, and respectful in their interactions. We, we are your police. We are serving you. And we are here to serve you. Zero tolerance for corruption and unprofessional conduct. I'm very allergic to corruption. In my leadership, I will not tolerate any form of corruption. I repeat, I'm very allergic to it. I will not tolerate any form of corruption, misconduct, or abuse of power by police officers in River State Command. Those found engaging in, in unprofessional conduct will fear the full wrath of the law. We will push them out and we will deal with them appropriately. We are here to uphold justice and serve justice and not to be agents of operation. Our internal, our internal monitoring mechanisms will be threatened to ensure discipline within the ranks. So discipline is the bedrock of the police, so we have to enforce discipline. My DCA is here, and I believe it's equal to the task. Tackling cultism and youth violence, 
Riverside has been plagued with by issues of cultism which often lead to violent crashes and needless loss of lives. Will intensify our efforts in curbing cult related activities and work with youth groups, religious bodies and civil society organizations to promote peace, education and alternative likelihoods for the youth. In case there is any dispute or conflict, we will adopt alternative dispute resolution to resolve all issues related to any crime and criminality. Combating oil theft and environmental crimes, River State is a key player in Nigeria's oil industry, but illegal activities of oil tips and pipeline bundles continue to undermine our economy and damage the environment. The command will collaborate with the Nigerian Navy, Army, Department of State Security, DSS, Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, and other relevant agencies to dismantle the networks responsible for these crimes and bring the perpetrators to justice, enhancing response time and visibility. We will improve our response time to district courts and ensure increased policing visibility, especially in crime-prone areas. Patrol will be regular and special tactical team will be deployed to critical areas as needed to restore normalcy. Collaboration with stakeholders and non -state, act state actors and non state actors. No police force can operate effectively in isolation. We cannot operate in isolation. We cannot be on our own alone. I therefore call on the good people of River State, traditional rulers, community leaders, youth groups, the media, religious organizations, and every law abiding citizen to cooperate, to cooperate with the police in our effort to rid the state of crime and Criminality. Security is a collective responsibility of everybody. I am confident that working together as a team, we can create a safer and more secured river state. I appeal to the you media because I'm very media friendly, so I have to appeal to you people. On a closer note, I want to state that. The media is not only a mirror reflecting the reality of our society, but also a bridge between the people and institutions like the police. Without your valuable contribution, it would be impossible for us to reach out to the people effectively. So we need your services. Uh, media is not like a mirror in the society. That's what you call looking glass of theory. The way you dress is that's how the society will mirror you. So please try to mirror us in a very good perception, not in a bad light.